Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Table Talk. I'm your host, Jake Combs, and tonight we are going to be looking at Transformers More Than Meets the Eye deck building game from uh, Renegade Game Studios. And then with it, it also came with a bonus pack too. Now I'll have to double check their website, um, and I will include the details in our written article that we'll do on nerdcoldonline.com. Um, but with that, I suspect, because this is listed as bonus pack two, that there are more than one bonus packs. Now, it may have been like a, you know, free with order until while supplies last type thing, or they just, you know, chose one of, one of them randomly and that there are others to choose from. Um, but I'll have to do that research. And like I said, I will include that in the actual written article. Now, this game was provided by Renegade Games studio uh, for the purpose of this video now I've only ever played a single deck building game and that being um, a Harry Potter one that we actually covered quite a while ago um, from USAopoly and so that was really the only experience I've had with that type of game and so looking forward to actually being able to do this game with Transformers uh, because personally I've always loved Transformers all right let's see who we got okay so this is Astro Train he's a Decepticon like that you don't need that card he's also got his bot mode and then he's got his alt mode and there's two different alt modes one is a space shuttle and the other one appears to be a train now I'm actually unfamiliar with this character um, but we do have a couple other cards. One is Ratbat, Onslaught, Drift, and Ultra Magnus. So it looks like two Decepticon, two Autobot cards, and these are robot cards. And then it also comes with a stand for that. Now let's go ahead and open up the box. So it says it's from a game for one, two, five players. We have a little ad insert for their Power Rangers game that's similar. The G.I. Joe deck building game, the G.I. Joe role playing game, as well as the Power Rangers role playing game. We have the official rule book. Looking at the art, it very much looks like something drawn by Tim Seeley. Um, makes me curious if there's any credits to actually who actually did the cover. Um, let's see. So the illustrator overall was Matt Frank. All right, so it looks like Matt Frank is actually the one that did the art. His style just very much reminds me of Tim Seeley's. Um, now, right off the bat, I am loving the look of this rule book. Full picture, very, very crisp detail. Um, you know, the wording is very large for the, for the most part, um, making it very easy to read. It goes through the anatomy of the cards and how to read them, what different types of cards, how to play the game, spending energon, spending power. Uh, it also includes examples of how to play, dealing with your adversaries, uh, other card types in detail, relics, locations, they call them sites. 
um, and how to basically determine the end of the game um, and also differences between cooperative and solo rules. There's also team versus team rules. So we've got several different ways to play the game. Now one thing I do see right away is their golden rule. Basically it says if the text on a card contradicts the rules contained in here, that the card is essentially law for, the, for that character or whatever. So that means that you know if one of these rules is proven wrong by that card, you go with the card. So I like that they included that. It gives them a little bit of wiggle room in case, you know, obviously if they made mistakes that kind of break one of their rules because, you know, these are humans making the game after all. But um, definitely some cool stuff there. Now, what I would have liked to see a bit more of, like, you know, we have several pages where it's just nothing but text. And for some people, you know, they need images there to kind of break it up. Um, so it's easier to digest all of that information. Like on this page, we, we do have like for the example of gameplay, but that's it. And, and really it doesn't even have to be an image from gameplay itself. It could just be, you know, one of the Autobots or Decepticons or something like that on display. All right, then we have our tokens. So it looks like this one is mostly Decepticons. Uh, you know, because we have Megatron, we have um, Soundwave, Starscream, and some others that I'm not remembering their names off the top of my head. Now, what's interesting is it seems that this is primarily going to be either you're building a deck to fight the Decepticons or you're playing the Decepticons uh, fighting the Autobots. That, so I'm not sure about that. Now with the game called A Rising Darkness and all of the artwork showing Decepticons, my assumption is that you're playing Decepticons um, for, uh, first and foremost. All right, so this is our main cards for the different characters. We have Scrapper, we have Shrapnel, Thundercracker uh, are the ones that I forgot about, and then Soundwave, Starscream, and Megatron. Now, I really like the artwork for these guys. Um, it's definitely a, a very cool comic book art style. We have our bag of Energon cubes. Some of them are different sizes. So I'm assuming those have a higher value, the ones that are larger. We have a bag of stands. Oops. him up and then we have that stack of cards and then this bigger stack of cards now the question is really going to be where are these cards going exactly uh, we do have some preset dividers in here um, not really sure you know, how those are all intended to go. I'm going to go ahead and take out the characters, put them all together. And then we'll just go ahead and punch out everything now real quick since we have a, an open slot. Now there are some people that, with tokens like these that insist on cutting them out. Um, me personally, I feel that 
they're held on with so little that that's not necessary. Now, obviously, you'll do you will have some that will fight you a little bit more, just because you know it wasn't a clean cut, and you know, so when those happen, it is going to be a little bit more difficult to get it cleanly off and not have it affect the token itself visually anyway. But the chances of that happen, happening is, in my experience, relatively low. And we're already almost done with that. And so far, no issues, other than the pieces I drop on the floor. Now, uh, now, anyone watching, who here is a fan of the toys? Who's he, who here is a fan of the original cartoons? You know, who's a fan of the the Michael Bay movies? Um, and you know, who's just into the the toys? Actually, I don't know if I said toys already. Probably did, um, or the comics themselves. Me personally, I've always loved the toys. Um, never read the comics. Um, I loved most of the movies. And honestly, I, I kind of want to do a, a marathon of them again um, to go through the whole series, especially since I haven't seen The Last Night yet. Um, now, the, the Bumblebee solo one, I really enjoyed. Um, all right, so here we have, looks like our various cards. And we have some Autobot bosses. So these are listed as bosses. So my assumption was correct that it is basically Autobots versus Decepticons and you play as the Decepticons. Um, Got some really great artwork on here. Like this one is Decepticons Attack. Really like that one. Um, Megatron kind of leading the army. Uh, Ravage. I always liked Ravage. Ravage is always one of my favorites. Uh, Mixmaster Hook. Some of the Constructobots. Another one, Scrapper. Now this one for Starscream is a totally different art style. Um, makes me curious about that one. And then we have items, we have abilities. Now what I would love to see is there was a G.I. Joe Transformers crossover comic book that um, was basically based during, I believe it was World War II, where Cobra was essentially replacing the Nazis. And in that, you know, they had a lot of Transformers as well, but they were. Um, essentially uh, that era's vehicles and I would love to see them do a similar game using that artwork from Jay Lee um, and expanding on it and doing more with it I think that would be a really cool thing all right so here we have you know some more ability cards more Autobot cards um, so these are all guys you're going to face, technology, <sighs> now what's kind of interesting is this one, the, pic the card is plasma density charges, so obviously explosives, 
But in the picture, I mean, it looks like he's holding two capsules of like some sort of medicine or antibiotic, you know, kind of like the robots need to take their medicine too. And, um, and I kind of thought that might be where it's going until I actually read it. Um, but it just looks kind of funny the way it's set up like that. But definitely liking the look of these cards. Um, again, really like the artwork, especially. Now, the other thing I would do a little bit differently. Now, I suspect that they're following some sort of storyline with this, um, probably from the comic books. And so my suspicion there is that um, that we only get the main players from that storyline instead of you know everybody. And um, personally, you know, anytime that you have a chance to do some like really cool artwork. Uh, you know, I always think that we, you should go for it. And so, you know, with that in mind, I would have loved to see my favorite Autobots, the Dinobots themselves, in the game as well. Uh, but that's just a personal preference because they're my favorites. Uh, specifically, Grimlock, uh, he, he's definitely uh, the beast and you know, by far my favorite. But definitely looking forward to playing this. Um, I love the fact that. You know, th this deck building game is designed that you can play it completely solo or you can play it with the friends you know so you know if you want to play and you don't have anyone to play with you don't need to worry you can play this by your, play the solo um, you know or if you want to share it with one of your friends you can play that together and <sighs> go that route so definitely some great looking cards really looking forward to giving this game a try um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and seal it back up since we've already got everything pretty much put together. And I'm going to just read the description on the back for you. Uh, so, rise up and conquer. The Decepticons have arrived to conquer Earth. And the puny Autobots won't stand a chance against the likes of Megatron, Scar Starscream, Soundwave, and more. In this standalone expansion... Okay, so this is a, a standalone expansion. Um that can be combined with the core set for the deck building game. So this is actually isn't a core set, but it acts as its own game. Um, you'll take on the role of one of the wicked Decepticons with the goal of ruling the Earth by gaining Decepticon allies, wielding mighty weapons, and using powerful maneuvers. You can crush all who oppose you. Beware, as you grow more powerful, stronger Autobots will try to put an end to your reign. <sighs> Definitely sounds pretty cool. Um, you know, like I said, I, I'm looking forward to actually giving it a play. Uh, but you can combine it with the uh, the core set if you want to do Autobots versus Decepticons, where this one is just playing Decepticons. Um, so something to keep in mind there. And uh, me personally, I will definitely be looking out for the the core game itself because that sounds awesome. Uh, that, but my only problem is I just got to find somebody to play um, those Autobots to, for me to fight. So uh, definitely some cool stuff in here. Really looking forward to uh, giving in that playthrough. Um, like I said, the end of the review of this will be going up on nerdcultonline.com once we have it written. Um, but um, that's it for tonight. Thank you as always for watching. Um, and if you could, please hit that like and subscribe buttons. Um, we are working to get ourselves one of those uh, custom URLs, and we can't do that without your help. So, you know, if you could, if you guys could show us that help, we would really appreciate it. But that's it for tonight. Thank you as always, and have a great night and great weekend.